wonderful piece of meat that is. So that, as you may have seen at the start, is a ham hock. So the rear hock off the back leg of the pig, some kind, sometimes called a shank, has been cured. Now with the curing with my bacon, I like to dry cure my bacon. Basically, does exactly what it says. Get your bacon, get your curing mix on, keep it dry, wrap pack it, and just let it do its thing. With the hocks, or with tongues, or with corned beef, we wet cure it, we actually brine it. As you can see at the start of the video in that bucket, I had a tongue in there and some hocks. And once we've cured it, we've turned what is raw pork into basically, well, not basically, bacon. So what I want to do with this beautiful lump of meat is make a classic Bavarian dish. Excuse my pronunciation. It's called Schweinschaxe. I think. Schweinschaxe. It'll come up here somewhere. Which is basically like all good dishes, a Bavarian peasant dish. Now, I love peasant dishes. I mean, it's those cuts, those pieces of meat, which, you know, not very expensive, took a lot more time to cook. You know, all the tops, all the rich had all the top cuts, and what was left, the offals, and pe things like the hocks, tongues, cheeks, heads, were left for the... Let's call them the working class. Uh, just to give you a rough idea, you think of things like haggis, black puddings, boudons, French cassoulet, a Welsh call, both a French cassoulet and a Welsh call, and a lob scouse, actually, which is a Liverpool dish or all stews made up from off cuts of meat of some sort and veg. And of course, you've got your potter fur, your head cheese. And one of my favourites, if I get this right, is called... A lanfredotto, and that was a Florentine dish, and it was a sandwich made from a cow's full stomach. If that ain't using every part of the beast, I don't know what it is. So yeah, peasant food, absolutely stunning. Some of my favourite food, just think Coco Van, things like that. So as times move on and change and taste change, you'll find that all these cuts that were, let's call them second rate or inexpensive you know, become trendy, and this is a prime example, the ham hock, just think tongues, cheeks, uh, breast of lamb is a good one, breast of lamb, when I started in the trade, we couldn't give them away, they were about 50 pence each, now you can pay almost as much per kilo for a breast of lamb as you can a leg of lamb, so yeah, how it changes it is amazing, but that doesn't take away from the fact we're going to be making this stunning dish, Schweinschatzer, that is good. So what we need to do then, I've jived too much, is we're gonna go over to the stove. We're gonna start by boiling this or poaching it very gently for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we're gonna take it out and roast it off in the oven. So yeah, let's get on a bit. Right, get some fire under the pot. Help if I turn the right one on, which is that one. Now all you need is a pot big enough to take said hock, pot for hock, and you want to cover it with water. Now, it's because we always do it over here in the UK, just add a few little veggies just to add a little bit of flavour to the water. You could put in some bay leaves, some star anise. You haven't got to do this. Just adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi. So what we need to do then, basically, is just bring that up to the boil. And as we bring that up to the boil, a bit of foam, the scum will come off, we'll skim it off. And then once it's nice and clean, we will turn it down and cook it slowly for an hour and a half. So another method for getting rid of the scum is you would just put this in water on its own without the vegetables, bring it up to the boil, 
let it boil for about 10 or 15 minutes then take the hock out change the water put it back in clean water and start again but there's no need to do that in this day and age you can just let it gently come up to simmer and skim it off so now it's just the waiting game so as you can see then there's scum there not a lot not a great deal just get in your slotted spoon and the job as they say is a good one so what I've done then is I've moved that onto a back hob it's not so aggressive and then keeping an eye on it if you need to top it up with water do just put a lid on and let it gently bubble away as you can see there's hardly any movement in there and that's what you want when you're braising anything you don't want to have too much movement because it will just make it tough so yeah it's a case of slowly slowly catchy pig hock so you just need to periodically keep an eye on it So to me that's going just a little too much so just turn it down may have to add a bit more water in a while but yeah it's more like it okay so got my oven preheated to 100 and 80 degrees C you can see this beautiful thing here I want to get out and then what we need to do is pat it dry score the skin get some salt on and then get it in that oven now this here this is just a wonderful byproduct basically got a ham stock here you could use this to make the classic peas pudding it's just a wonderful thing so that won't go to waste peas pudding is yet another peasant dish classic beautiful but this is the star of the show and what we need to do and we can put it in our dish is get it to sit up a bit if we can but yeah look at that so when it's cool enough to handle there get a knife and just score it all over look at that oh, wonderful get our salt as you would roast pork and just rub it in all over oh, yes a bit more and then I've got a tray with a Ponzi chef's ring I can get that to sit up like that look at that oh yes and we get that in the oven wash my hands just have a word with that it's like a bit of modern art isn't it so yeah in the oven then 180 degrees for between one and a half and two hours and I can't wait Okay then, so after two hours roasting, you get this. How magnificent does that look? Get off. Beautiful roasted ham hock it's a thing of beauty it really is listen to the crackling it 
we got some mustard. And what do we need for mustard is a spoon. And years ago, this was used as a mustard spoon. But before we get to that bit, look at that. That cure has made it into a ham. Oh, God. Let's have a go. My God. That is something special. Let's have a bit of that crispy crackling and some of the meat. Oh, look at it. Look at it. All these bits on this bone. So if we were in Germany, the Schweinsfaxer, I think that's what it's called, Schweinsfaxer, either either, would be served with sauerkraut or some cabbage dish or of course potato salad here in the UK. It's good old crusty bread, a load of butter. Get some of that crackling on. Then using that bone, which was used as a mustard spoon, just like that, you put that on there. Just like that. We go like that. We show it you, and then we go like this. So before I sum this up, I've got to have another one of them. Just look at this, just pulls apart. Oh man, something else. Get it on there. And of course, some of the old crackle crackle. Get it on there. You know what? I can't be bothered to wait. I just want to get it down my neck. So there you have it, my friend. The remnants of my roasted am hock, just to. Refresh your memory, we brine the hock. I will put all the instructions for the brine in or the cure in down in the uh, show bar. So we cured it, so we turned raw pork into bacon. Then we parboiled it slowly, poached it with some veg and then roasted it off. And we're left well, with this. I've already rinsed two rolls off it. It's just been unbelievable. And the pork... It's just outstanding. My friends at the local farmers reared this pork. It's just to die for. And of course we got our mustard and our built-in mustard spoon. So there it is. Roast ham hock, roast pork shank, or sh 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 I ain't got a clue. I know what I mean. Schwein Schaxer. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and also share it on all your social medias and find me on my social media my facebook twitter and instagram at the scott reed project so until next so until next time my friends where we'll be cooking some crayfish i think do give it a go look at it just look at it focus for me take care